Welcome to Whole CEO with Lisa G. I'm the best-selling author of The Boss Weight Loss. I'm bringing you the top tips to be unstoppable. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to actually pull up a chair with today's top experts in mindset, weight loss, business, and more. Learn our top tips so that you can have more energy, be fit and resilient, feel unstoppable, unshakable, and unbreakable. She's a financial strategist and TikTok advisor to us entrepreneurs that are looking to reset their relationship with money and thrive on TikTok as a previous advisor in the traditional financial industry and investor. She's realized the power of unlocking one's potential by our relationship, transforming our relationship with finances. With TikTok, she's empowered brands featured on Shark Tank, thrive on the platform and bringing those strategies to businesses and business owners to elevate their brand. Welcome to the show, Kristen Granados. Kristen, welcome. Thank you, Lisa. I so appreciate you having me. I'm so happy to have you. Um, I hope I didn't say your name wrong. <laughs> it's all right. It's Kirsten. <laughs> okay. You, you say it. <laughs> Kirsten Granados. Uh huh. Yeah, correct. Okay. Okay. Now we got it. Kirsten Granados, give us some tips for transforming the morning routine through the habit of gratitude and let us know how that helped you with um, impulse spending. Yes. Yeah, so, particularly, I found that gratitude journaling was one of the most healing things that I. Um, could learn and ultimately embrace as part of my morning routine. I do not start my day unless I have first gotten that journal out. And then I mentioned for things that actually have not even happened yet. I, I share gratitude for that. And then also for a perspective of what I currently have in my life, who I'm blessed to have uh, within my circle because the reality is once we have clarity of what we have and what we, um, what we currently have at our fingertips, there is so much less of any energy that creates a, a sense of lack. Um, we're in tune with who we are, our belief system, our values. Um, so that was something that really contributed to um, overcoming uh, impulse spending at one point that I, I struggled with. <laughs> oh, I've been there. I've been there. I've been in retail therapy before where you're like, oh, you think that thing is going to make you feel better. Um, I, I love that attitude of gratitude that you have. I think you can't lose when you lead with that. I want to ask you also too about understanding what financial wellness looks like to help us cultivate a vision of clarity. Yes. Yeah, so particularly, I find that having clearly defined vision, a clearly defined values and principles is so important because unless we do, the reality is it's so easy to cave in these days into what other people may, we could say, um, influence us with what that looks like with what um, that precisely is, we could say it feels. And there are a few determining factors in terms of what financial health looks like. Um, we know that it, it involves our, our basic needs being met now in the long-term future, uh, mastery of fundamental financial concepts, making more than we spend. Um, there's all these determining factors. It looks different for everyone. But the reality is I think not enough individuals have an actual picture of what that feels like, what that feels like, because the reality is that um, how we feel about our finances is not related to how much we have. Um, so identifying in terms of the emotions and what that feels and looks like is so, so freeing. I love that you talk about fiscal wellness and how the feeling of that is, because I've met people before many times who have what would outwardly appear to me as abundance of wealth, but they feel this lack and it comes across and I'm like, oh, how much does that cost? And I can't afford that. And that's really expensive. And how much did you spend on that? And 
I can't believe you're doing that. It's so expensive. So how important is it to have an abundance attitude about finances? It is so crucial. And I think when we identify what abundance means to us individually, we're going to find so much more fulfillment and have so much more internal peace. Because the reality is that a lot of time we end up reflecting in terms of what others think abundance looks like. Um, right. And that's where there is a, a separation um, of, of these use and we could say cognitive dissonance. So having that personal clarity is so, so fulfilling, Lisa. I love that. I just feel like if you come at it from an abundance attitude, then it's just a currency and you just keep it circulating. But if you come at it from lack, it's just, it's hard for you emotionally, right? To, to deal with those feelings all the time. Exactly, exactly, 100% with you. I'm so glad we agree on that. Okay, I have another question for you. How can we create a money story that helps us develop powerful habits that create long-term success? Yes, yeah, so ultimately, I think that identifying our own beliefs around, uh, around money and questioning on if they're true and who we learned this from and who these beliefs we learned them from, it's going to be so much more freeing for us because I think so many times, especially uh, myself in um, a few years ago when I was working with some clients, I realized how much of the belief system that they carried on as adults in their 40s and their 50s, they were still just ultimately reflection of what they had learned from their family members. So understanding that we have the opportunity to create a new narrative. And by doing so, we can say, you know what, what do I want my relationship with money to look like? What does it look like? What option, sorry, what options open up to me? Now that I have reset this relationship, um, what opportunities open up? And then once we start to card these paths, we're almost like creating a new neural pathway within our brain. So we're seeing beyond what's already there and putting on top a new belief system. I love the fact that our money story is, is not something that we came up with, but it, it's like deep set from our family and our past and that we can create something new and more powerful and empowering, can't we? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, well, my last question for you about being unstoppable, I know we talked about what a star you are on helping your clients with TikTok and I love your TikTok and your social media. Do you have any tips on being unstoppable on, on TikTok? Yes, yeah, so when it comes TikTok, something that I would say is probably very underrated is that when it comes to being a successful um, creator and entrepreneur with TikTok, I would say that really leveraging it as a tool to explore our own authenticity, to explore our own voice is one of the greatest gifts. And understanding that the audience that we attract, the community we build, um, and how we grow is really just a reflection of how energetically attractive we are um, in terms of what is the emotional aftertaste that we create for others? What is the experience that we carve throughout our content? So once we consider these factors, we have them present, it's so much easier to really to create and share from a place of the soul rather than out of, we could say, um, rather than out of habit or just systematically, but more from a, a place of passion. Well, I can see the passion in your post that you share and the authenticity. So thanks for being a guest on Whole CEO with Lisa G. Where can our audience find more of you? Yes, so they can find me. Um, the best place to find me is honestly my LinkedIn. Um, it's on my LinkedIn page, just my name, Kirsten Granados. Um, I'm there daily, pretty much. <laughs> I love it. I know that's where we see each other on LinkedIn. So thank you, Kirsten Granados. Thank you. Thanks for coming to Whole CEO of Lisa G. After over 20 years helping people lose weight and get fit, I'm so excited to announce that I found the missing link with my coaching. Message me if you want to learn how to look better, 
feel better, and go faster with a master. Lisa G at lisagfit.com.